Here we are at day three of Aggressive Ambition. I'm starting this day with all stage one or tier one upgrades. So that is just ones right across the board. I didn't try anything first. I just know we're gonna need at least that many upgrades based on my prior experience. So for this event, I'm supposed to lap somebody. I really don't know how far ahead um, those guys are gonna be. Like that guy seems super slow, but I'm just gonna take all the cuts right off the start. So these are the kind of known cuts that people take at Spa. And I'm not really sure of the braking points yet because this is the first time I'm driving this car with these upgrades. So I'm gonna blow it a little bit here and there like I went off track there because I didn't get the acceleration point correct. Even right here, I'm gonna maybe just over brake a little bit so, so I don't lose it. There's a couple of ways you can handle the top of the hill here. You can uh, brake a little bit late and cut completely across the grass. You can brake even later and do a kind of wall sliding wall bounce maneuver. It's kind of a crazy thing. The, the wall sliding bit is a little more risky because you could damage your car a bit. And if you don't get it right, you definitely damage your car and you come to a grinding halt. This next corner here is one of the hardest ones in really fast cars. If you get the braking point wrong, you could really lose it. You don't want to slide off track right there. It's one of the worst places in the game to slide off track. You just lose tons and tons of time. So that one, it's really good to over brake it a bit if you're not sure. Same with right here. If you go sliding off track here, you lose so much time because there's a big speed run. Now, if you watched my day two video, you know there was only one of them and there was no day one videos because I had a glitchy screen recorder. Well, I finally went out and bought one. I usually don't like paying for stuff like that, but I'm sick and tired of glitchy stuff. So I bought a screen recorder and this one, it's been working really good. I did a bunch of tests and I have not had one issue and it actually gives you settings. Since I switched over to iOS, I noticed that you have way less options with apps. They just don't give you options. Android, I had tons of options with apps. So this screen recorder actually gives me the options of a frame rate and bit rate and resolution. So I maxed everything because that's what I like to do for you guys. Okay, well, I'm a little bit worried at this point because, you know, we're kind of halfway through this thing and Oh, okay, there's the mistake you can make when you are sliding across the grass. I'm just going to keep on going because I just, I have no idea how hard this stage is until I really give it a shot. So, that shouldn't have hurt me too much. For some reason, if you have a real high-speed collision in this game, you often can get away with it. Like, sometimes you can have a really high-speed collision with a car and nothing will happen to your car. The really funny thing is when you have a front-end collision and your back window blows up, I find that really funny. Because uh, the, the really bad thing is when your windshield gets cracks. That's when you know that your car is going to be slower and have less grip, uh, worse braking. At that point, you sometimes need to abandon the stage and try again. So super fast cars, you have to brake at this little part coming up here better to brake a little bit before and then power through it and then shortly after that yellow and red rumble strip you can start your across the grass cut or you, you call it being the lawnmower I guess you see it in racing sometimes here if you come into that way too fast you can drive off track to dump speed uh, I did a video test on this once if you go completely off track you have the best braking ability possible in this game if you have just two tires off track, that is the worst braking power you can have. So all on track is good. Two off track is very bad. Four off track is very good, but really hard to control. So I just call it dumping speed. If I came in too fast, I dump some speed. If you do a lot of OMP or um, online multiplayer driving, You'll notice that some drivers actually use this feature on a regular basis. They'll quickly drive off track, dump some speed, and get back on. It's risky. There's a chance something can go wrong. 
Okay, I was just going to say, I'm really getting worried, but there we go. Now, I could pass them right now, but uh, this is bot management. I'm going to wait for a bit. If I pass them too early, the race ends early, and it looks like I finished it incredibly fast, which, well, I did, because I did a whole bunch of cutting. And the faster you finish, the harder bots get. And that can really hurt you in future stages. It's this way in all throughout the game. So if you start finishing races early on um, in career, if you start finishing races really fast or really far ahead of the bots, then it's just going to get harder and harder for you. Okay, well, I was trying to set up something here to take him into the wall to be a bit goofy, but that worked, and we're close enough to the finish line anyways. That's it for 3.1. Stay tuned for more.